Hello viewers and welcome to the Cameroon GC in math panel on YouTube. A certified team consists of ordinary level and advanced level certified teachers and markers from the different regions and our objective is to provide you with corrections and how to answer questions in mathematics, additional math, further maths, in statistics as well as mechanics in the shortest possible time. To get to us, don't forget to first of all subscribe, don't forget to like and share these videos with your friends so that equally others' grades might be improved. Now let us begin with the first question of this June 2018 paper 2. Section A, question 1 reads, a shop sells a television set offering a discount of 15% off the normal price. Rena bought the television set for 357000 calculates the normal price on the television set. So a discount of 15% here actually means the selling price is 85%. So it was sold at 85%. And this 85% corresponds to the amount 357,000. So 85% of 350,000 would be equal to 85%. So this gives us cross multiplying we, we obtain x to be equal to 100 times 350,000 divided by 85 and that gives us 420,000. The B part of question number two rather, don't forget to click on the G on the bottom left of your screen and you can watch all the other videos found in this channel at the moment. Question 2, given that x minus 1 is a factor of f of x equals that, show that x minus 1 is a factor. So x minus 1 equals 0 implies x equals 1. And f of 1 will give us 0 if x minus 1 is a factor. So let's look for f of 1. If it gives us 0, then x minus 1 is a factor. So this gives us 2 into 1 cubed plus 1 into 1 squared minus 2 into 1 minus 1. And the result is zero. Thus, x minus one is a factor. The next thing is to look for the other factors. That's the b part of the equation. And in this case, we are going to use long division. That is the division of polynomials. So we have this polynomial divided by the factor which we already have, which is x minus one, since they say it's a factor. And dividing, we have two x cubed divided by x gives us x squared. That's two x squared. Now two x squared times x gives us two x cubed. 2x cubed times minus 1 gives us the 2x squared times minus 1 gives us minus 2x squared. When we subtract, we have x squared minus minus 2x squared giving us 3x squared. We copy out the other terms, minus 2x minus 1. Now 3x squared divided by x gives, gives us plus 3x. This 3x times x gives us 3x squared and times minus 1 gives us minus 3x. Subtracting, we will have minus 2x minus minus 3x gives us plus 1x. Bring what has not been used down. x divided by x gives us plus 1. And plus 1 times all of that gives us x minus 1. When we subtract, we have 0. The remainder is 0. The remainder is only 0 whenever we divide by a factor. So our function can now be written as f of x equals this divisor, which is x minus 1, times the quotient. And when we factorize this quadratic, we will have x plus 1 into 2x plus 1. And we have completely factorized. You have been factorizing from form 3 right up to form 5. So you know how to do the factorization. Question 3. Find the value of x given that 2 to the power x plus 1 equals 1 on 4 to the power 3. The first thing is to observe here that 1 over 4 to the power 3 is the same as 1 over 2 to the power 2 raised to the power 3. That's the third law. And using the law of negative exponents, we have 2 to the power minus 6. 